Tory Lanez could win a new trial in the Megan Thee Stallion case after him and his legal team made claims that DNA evidence was mischaracterized at the trial and the use of lyrics that could threaten to racialize proceedings according to his lawyer Jose Baez. Tory's lawyer claims that the prosecutors misrepresented DNA evidence at trial and improperly used the rapper's lyrics and persona against him to win a conviction, saying that he should have been excluded as a contributor in a specific case because prosecutors basically used and argued multiple times in this trial that he could not say his DNA evidence was not on the gun. But that's not true. His DNA wasn't on the gun and they didn't have a profile. He wasn't even considered a minor contributor and any random African-American person from the community could have been a contributor other than Tory Lanez. A hearing is scheduled for May 8th on the motion for a new trial. In an update to the case stemming from a viral video that shows 6 9 getting jumped, one of 6 9 alleged attackers had his charges dropped. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office is no longer pursuing charges against Anthony Maldonado in connection to the LA Fitness fight in Lake Worth, Florida last month. Maldonado, who is 25 years old, was arrested on assault and robbery charges on May 30th along with two other suspects, with one of them being a former high-ranking member of the Latin Kings gang. Police accused him of using his membership to grant Rafael and Octavius Mendina, the two other suspects, entry to the gym, but claimed he was at home preparing for Bible study the day of the attack and has eight witnesses who can attest to that. After pleading guilty to prison invasion, 42 Doug was finally sentenced to one year behind bars on Wednesday, April 26, even though the prosecutors recommended a six-month sentence. Back in November of 2019, the ATF received a tip that Doug had fired a weapon at an Atlanta gun range and as a convicted felon, he wasn't allowed to fire a weapon and was arrested and charged with felony firearms possession in March of 2020. In May 2021, 42 Doug and his legal team entered a plea negotiations for the gun charge which had him avoid jail time and get probation but the judge revoked his probation soon after and slapped him with six months in jail and two years of supervised release. 42 Doug was expected to surrender after his violation but didn't and then after later being retrieved he initially pleaded not guilty with the excuse that he's a sovereign citizen and doesn't have to comply with federal law but that didn't work for him like comment subscribe hit the bell notifications stay tuned for more news